guys, Andy. Um, I was just checking in bases with you guys. Homeless 101 with Andy. Um, today, I was going to discuss uh, helping us out. Uh, a lot of people like to help us out, but people don't consider weight, mass, or quantity of what they're giving us. Sometimes they will give us things mm -hmm. like canned goods. Um, sometimes they also will give us blankets, bags of clothing. These things are well needed. You don't know how many times a food box or a clothing bag has driven us through in the past three years that we have unfortunately been homeless. Uh, however, there has been many a times that your gifts go wasted because we have to leave them behind. We constantly travel. We constantly have to move. Um, so sometimes when we get a box that's extremely large with a lot of perishables in it, things that we can't store like chicken, meat, cheese, we have to cook those things right away. Um, and if there's no place to cook them, then they spoil and they go bad. So when you're thinking about helping the homeless, um, think more about those packages, the Ziploc bags of tuna, the Ziploc bags of ground beef, things like that, because they will store even though we don't have refrigerators. Um, just a little tidbit, touch up type of thing. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about is for my homeless people out there, my homeless fans. Hi, how are you? Um, there's a few key things that we need to know as homeless people. Uh, a lot of us have been criminalized. We've been criminalized because being homeless is a stigmatism for people. It's it's something that people don't like to see in their communities. But a lot of us are not homeless because we choose to be or homeless because we're drunks or have mental illness or alcoholism. Some of us are truly circumstantially homeless. And uh, so therefore, a standard needs to be set. Uh, just because we're homeless, we don't need to look homeless. So just try to keep yourselves clean. So always keep liquid soap with you. Um, always have a spray disinfectant like Lysol or something like that, a hand sanitizer. Make sure you keep up on your wipes. Have those with you at all times and always, I mean always, have a pot to piss in. <laughs> Everyone needs to have a pot to piss in. If you cannot find a place to go to the restroom, that can be dire in circumstances. So keep bags, keep something that you can go to the restroom in and feel clean and feel human because we all need to feel human just because we don't live in the world of the living, which is what I call people who dwell in homes, uh, the world of the living. We are the world of the alive. We have to live our lives day to day, every day. So uh, where they're living, we are alive. Uh, don't ever forget that. And just try to carry yourself as such, you know, um, just because we don't have a roof over our head doesn't mean we aren't upstanding and wonderful people who go out there and try to do the best we can every day of our lives, just like most people do. Um, yeah, so it was just a little touch up, kind of let you guys know what was going on in my life. Uh, like I said, yes, we're still living in the truck. Um, we've just upgraded to some plastic drawers. So now we are a little bit more organized. So um, that's another key that all of us homeless people out there need to know. Stay organized, have a pot to piss in, and... <laughs> Don't carry canned goods. All right, guys. Bye.